That's there better. You go. That's there better. You go. Let's yeah. try on another look. I'm gonna try some things on too. I don't get much wow. time to shop. But I think that when things fit you well and flatter you, mm -hmm. it gives you that little extra boost of confidence that is so important when you're representing yourself at this fashion show tonight. Now let's give you a little leather blazer here. Now that's cute. Blazer sensational. What do you think? Pretty cool. It's it's quiet elegance. That's what makes sophistication. Okay, you look let's good. walk you look down really the runway hot. on this one. You look hot here. Yeah. Okay, wave, wave go. to the crowd. Oh, now we're cooking with gas. That's what I like to see, that kind of attitude. Very hot, yeah. get up here. Let's get you back in your own clothes. Okay. Okay, let's scamper. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Skin clinic right here. We gotta get you changed and we'll get started. Sit down, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> you look nervous. <laughs> you look a little afraid. <laughs> Laser hair removal is it's permanent, but it's painful. Laser hair removal? Yeah, so it's okay. gonna be gone. But that's a great thing, you'll never have to wax again. Okay. Hey, what's up, Robert? Hi there, how are you? Good. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Okay, David, you know, why don't you have a seat over here? Okay. Okay. Now, David, I just wanna ask you, do you have any goals of uh, things in mind? My my neck hair is starting to connect to my beard hair. Okay. Basically, the laser makes a light at a certain frequency, and mm -hmm. it's heat. The heat goes all the way down to the papilla, which is the root of your hair follicle, and kills it. And after about four successions, we'll get, we'll get them off. Get them all. Okay. Okay. This so. is weird. Is it weird? Yeah, Why? absolutely. Because I've never done this kind of. But isn't it good you'll never have to worry about it again? Let's shoot me with lasers. Okay, so we're gonna start. Uh, it's gonna feel like a little sting. Oh, good time. Did it hurt? Did it hurt a lot? You can't hurt me with that thing, please. Oh, let him have it, Robert. So each time you do this, it's getting one hair? No. How large an area is it getting? It's like an inch. You see what I mean? This is yeah. a good end point because it looks like pepper is kind of shaking on the skin right. and some of the follicles are getting a little swollen. So that's a good thing. That's the result we want. Yes, that's what. That's a good end point. Well, this looks great. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of stuff to do before your fashion show tonight, so let's get out of here. Come on, chop, chop, chop. I think this is your kind of joint. We're gonna have a lot of fun. This is a place called Urban Glass, and uh, you and I are gonna make something. Wow, look at this place. It's very exciting, right? This place is obviously where people perform lots of different kinds of glass art. Yeah. And since you and your wife are so creative, I thought this would be a great venue for you. What we're gonna be doing today is making a bracelet for Jessica. We're gonna be melting glass to make beads for this bracelet. Okay. Okay? And that's gonna walk us through and sort of like teach us what we need to do. Okay? okay. So, you need gentlemen you need to put on your safety glasses. Uh, this is very Urkel. Did I do that? <laughs> First, we're going to take a mandrel. This is a stainless steel rod that we build the bead around. We're going to start way out on the end just to very gently warm it up. I'm going to put the glass down, and I'm just going to move the mandrel. Ooh. And you see how I keep the glass stationary? So that is the beginning of the bead right there. Wow. And here's some ones that I made earlier that are in here. And see, now, obviously, these are cool enough to touch. That's a process of lamp working. And you can pick some colors of glass. And what do you even know? Some of our favorite colors. Anything that's bright will do. <laughs> this is harder than it looks, I have to say. A lot of coordination really needed here. Yeah. Do you think Jess would really get a kick out of this? Jess would love this. You should take her for like date night or something. She would make oh, a giant yeah. glass monkey. I'm taking her here. It's such a good idea. Let's learn about how to string this stuff here. Now, in this case, we have some black rubber. And you see I have some different spacer beads. We want to, you know, put some of these in between the beads. You're going to put this little crimp around here. Get it down there nice and tight. So this is going to hold this together. And then you're going to have a beautiful, professional-looking crystal. Easy enough? I hope so. Okay, good, because yes. you're going to be doing that a little later on. Yep. Okay. Okay? Here. Thank you okay. so much. All right. So, we out. This is at SQC, and what they're about here is taking sort of classic, traditional dishes and giving them a contemporary twist. All right. Chef Campbell. Hi, How Chef are you? Campbell. Welcome. Yeah, Chef Goldman. du jour. So what we want to do is take a Jewish classic and twist it up a little bit. Jewish cooking is one that everybody's had. We've all had chicken soup. But it's not a cuisine that we typically associate with being contemporary and cool and groovy. And we're going to do a kugel. I've eaten kugel. I've never made a kugel. You've never made it. The traditional kugel that I've had is made with noodles. So instead of having noodles, what we've done is we've got potatoes, a little bit of cream, then 
we're going to add our delicious kasha. Now, wouldn't be it without caramelized onion. This is the heart of Jewish cuisine. All right. You have to slice a couple apples. You're combining a lot of wild ingredients here. Huh? Yes. We're giving you plenty to do. And David is sort of getting back to his Jewish roots. He's sort of studying cultural aspects of Jewish life, but he's only, but he hasn't really got explored the cooking at all. Yeah, my rabbi hasn't yeah. taught me any of the cooking. And we're going to put this deep in the oven for 400 degrees for 45 minutes. So what we have is sort of a nouveau kugel, if you will. Let's see the finished product here. It's kugel time. Right now, this is looking pretty homespun and rustic. This is where the creativity comes in. It's all in the ring. So you cut it like this. Look at that. Make sure you have enough support. Support is a good thing. Cool. Tower of Kugel. Mm -hmm. Presentation, really fun. Little really presentation. Beautiful. Cheers. Cheers. That's oh, delicious. Man. That's fantastic. And it really does take that sort of classic dish to a whole new place, both in terms of presentation and in flavor. All right. Ready? Yes. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. All right, Dave, you better get moving. You've got a lot to do, man. Your list is long. Are you ready? Now get on your tippy toes so you can see over the rail. <laughs> Our house is a mishmash of all different styles. A haphazard a mismatch. His makeshift at his little entertainment center out of plywood. They definitely need some, some overhaul. We get all of our furniture either from the Goodwill or the goodwill of my family. When you previously were lacking in confidence at those fashion shows, it's probably in part because you didn't have the right clothes. That's, That's exactly what it was about. I didn't look the part. Did you get your Brazilian body wax? Oh my gosh, let's have a look. <laughs> Did they shave your matzo balls? Okay. All right, let's grab our purchases, people.